Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial by VZ Demon. Jinx, this one goes out to you. So today we're going to learn how to be making particles. Aside from what we did in the past tutorials, this is going to be a separate one. So you see I have an empty scene here. Now let's get started. What, before I start, I want to first explain to you what particles are. Particle effects are basically what you see in uh, w explosions in video games. Whenever you see an explosion or like a lot of particles or magic flying in the air, it's all done by particle effects, even water, even f campfire, whatever you can think of. So um, let's start and learn how to create these things. So there are two options to start creating these. You can first, the first one is you can make a game object for example a cube you want to make it burning you add particle effects components now you have to add three things ellipsoid particle and meter to make the particles you have to render them by particle renderer and then you have to animate them by doing the uh, particle animator they're just like that and they're animated See, they spawn around the cube. Lovely. Now, we're not going to be working that today. We are going to be working with the default particle system, which is just an invisible ball with particles around it. Now, to, to make uh, particle effects, you already have this here with the default texture of a circle, of a uh, white circle. Now, you see how they spawn and go away? We'll be dealing with that too. Now this circle can be replaced by any texture right here in the particle renderer area. But for now we're just going to be using this as an example. Now I'm going to show you how to make an explosion and from there you can take it wherever you want. So first we'll need to play a little with the part with the particle size, the size of each particle. Remember each parameter here goes by random to make the particle effects look more real. But if you don't, you can always set the min and max the same value. So for this, I'm going to go size um, 0 0.5 and 0 0.1. No, 1. Yeah, now you see they're a little clustered here. Looks like a big white ball. So I'm just going to I'm going to make them a bit wider by changing the ellipsoid, which is the center where they spawn from. Let's change that to 2. Two and two on the X. There we go, much better. Now, when particles, when th stuff explodes, particles fly all over the place, right? The fire. So um, we also want to do that. So to do to add force to the particles, we have multiple ways. We can add world velocity, world on the, on the X, on the Y, whatever you want, all right? But that's not going to help us for now. I want random velocity. So we're going to add one on each so it goes all over the place. But that's a bit slow, so we'll add a bit more velocity to it. And another thing is you can also add in the particle animator force. See, random force, local, rotation axis, everything. Now we're gonna be mi uh, we're gonna be getting to the particle emission, which is how much particles spawn. Now I'm gonna set the min minimum amount of spawning particles to 100 and the maximum to 300. That way we have a ton of particles. See, just like that. That looks more like it. And now, uh, moving on, we want this to look like fire. Now normally people would put a fire texture on it instead of the big um, white thing, but um, I don't have a particle um, I mean, uh, fire texture to do for this tutorial, so I'm just going to show you another way to do it, is to change the color in the particle animator. So let's change, let's make the first one red, since we want like a fiery explosion, then slowly graduating to yellow right you see I'm gradually going from the colors till we finally hit yellow 
Well, that looks more like it. You can always play with it if you don't like the coloring, but that's just how I do it. You can always make a bit more yellow. Just like that. Have a fiery center. <laughs> there we go. Alright, you get you get the point. I want to make this more clustered, so I'm going to make the ellipsoid smaller, which is the place where they spot from on every axis. And this is also an important thing, if you want to make like gunfire or something, always check the one shot, which does one, and then the particles disappear, it does another one. Uh, but we're not going to use this for now, um, this is just an example. So I'm going to add a random rotation to make the particles flying look more dynamic. And I'm going to add, and I'm going to change two more parameters. The min energy and the max energy. Now what energy basically is, is how long the particle lives. The shorter they live, the faster they spawn. So just remember that. So I'm going to change that to 0 0.3. 3, 0.1. Now you see we have not so much particles here. So we're just gonna make the emission bigger. 400, 500. It's more like it. And I think we still we made a, a little life a bit too short, so let's make that bigger. And there we go. See that's more that's better. So this 800. Now there are also a lot more parameters you can play with here. There is uh, auto destruct, there is damping, random force. You can also change the material, aka the texture. You can change their shape. So you can make anything basically with these particles now. You can um, you can change it to however you want. You can make size grow. See now they grow as they gradually fall apart. And uh, well, that concludes our tutorial for today. I uh, hope it helped. And uh, uh, well, till next tutorial.